सो वॉट टू नो फॉर सुपर स्पेशलिटी एग्जाम्स रिगार्डिंग द एंटीरियर फाउंटेनल नाउ एंटीरियर फाउंटेनल वॉट इज द नॉर्मल साइज एट बर्थ द नॉर्मल साइज एट बर्थ इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू सेंटीमीटर बाय टू सेंटीमीटर इन अ टर्म चाइल्ड इन अ प्री टर्म चाइल्ड इट मे बी एज बिग एज थ्री टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर बाय थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर बट दैट इज फॉर प्री टर्म बेबीज सो इन अ नॉर्मल एंटीरियर फाउंटेनल सम बुक्स से टू पॉइंट फाइव टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सम से टू बाय टू नेल्सन से टू बाय टू सो वी आर टेकिंग टू बाय टू एंटीरियर फाउंटेनल वॉट आर दूचर्स विच कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू फॉर्मेशन of anterior fontanel so there are three sutures one is your sagittal suture second is coronal suture and third is metopic or frontal suture mcq point all of the following sutures are involved in formation of anterior fontanel except the fourth option was lambdoid suture and that was your answer by exclusion if you look at the syllabus of super speciality many questions will be asked from applied anatomy and physiology of pediatrics as well and this is a typical example of applied anatomy related to fetal skull it has practical implication so sutures contributing to formation of anterior fontanel normal anterior fontanel shape it is a diamond shaped space so it is diamond shaped and all of you are pediatricians you already know that when you measure the shape of anterior fontanel you don't measure it from edge to edge you measure it like this this is how you measure it so the the shape of uh, is diamond shaped then it is at birth in a normal child it is level and may slightly bulge when the child is crying that is considered to be a normal variation what is the normal closure time for anterior fontanel the normal closure time is 12 to 18 months if you have to, to choose a single value the answer is 18 months so that is the normal closure time for anterior fontanel let us talk about some abnormalities related to anterior fontanel what is important for your exams what are the causes of delayed closure of anterior fontanel if it is not closing properly many times the causes are idiopathic we'll only write the major causes secondly if the underlying pressure is high it will not close immediately it may take time so that is hydrocephalus if thyroxin is not there hypothyroidism that can cause for closure sutures have to come and approximate bone should grow if bone is not growing that can cause delayed closure so rickets it can occur in other bony disorders like osteogenesis imperfecta and hyperphosphatasia it can also occur in protein energy malnutrition and finally it can occur in heavy metal poisoning so these are the major causes there is a long list but these are the major causes from entrance point of view the bare minimum that you should know then cause of premature closure of anterior fontanel premature closure is produced by a group of condition called as craniosynostosis we'll discuss this topic separately then you have causes of bulging anterior fontanel anything which raises the intracranial pressure will cause it to bulge transient bulging can be seen in crying but that is normal uh, persistent bulging can be seen in conditions like hydrocephalus arteriovenous malformations example vein of galen malformation where bulging anterior fontanel will be associated with a bruit it can be seen in cns infections it can be seen in carnictrus and it can be seen in cns hemorrhage and then you have depressed anterior fontanel depressed anterior fontanel is seen in dehydration in infants 
So these are the major things that can be asked in entrance exam. Although not frequently asked, but you can remember that posterior fontanelle, the normal closure time is 0 to 2 months. 0 to 2 months means it is either closed at birth or closes within 2 months, that is 8 weeks of birth. Any persistent closure beyond 2 months, that is beyond 8 weeks, will be considered abnormal. There are two major causes of delayed closure of posterior fontanelle. Delayed closure of posterior fontanelle can be seen in hydrocephalus as well as in congenital hypothyroidism. So these are the only things which can be asked from posterior fontanelle. 